Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we are going to be taking a look at another GTA Online DLC concept. This one is called Mud Bogs and Beer and it's actually made by me. Uh, I created this DLC. Um, if you haven't seen any of the previous ones of these that I've done then I definitely recommend you go and watch them. We've looked at quite a few here on the channel. They've all been really cool, but let's just go ahead straight in and jump into this one. So you can see it says right here, Mud Bogs and Beer DLC concept, and you can see it's made by me uh, three hours ago. And I've made a little bit of um, fan art for this, basically. Um, so we're going to go through all of this. This is actually the new garage that you can go and visit. Uh, but we'll get into that in just a second. So I just used some mods on my PC. Uh, this is actually uh, a trophy truck on the bottom. And then I just plonk these two cars on top. But I think it looks really cool. And you can't really tell. These vehicles absolutely need a lift kit. We also have the Rancher 6x6. This is actually a Vanilla Works mod. It's in the Vanilla Works Extended Mod Pack. Uh, it's absolutely awesome. That's definitely a vehicle I'd like to see. Uh, but let's just get straight into it. So it says, this DLC is themed around off-roading. Uh, I felt this area had not been properly explored in GTA Online. And with the recent release of SnowRunner, which is an off-road extreme simulator, which we have actually been playing a bit of that here on the channel, um, I thought I'd pitch my idea to the community. Now I'm aware that it's a very niche DLC theme. Uh, but I think there's loads of cool features and new vehicles that Rockstar could add in a DLC like this. And I absolutely think there is. Um, obviously, off-roading is not going to be for everyone. You know, the the uh, the tuner sort of people in GTA probably won't like something like this. Uh, you know, obviously all of the gun-running people, the PvP lot, they probably won't like this that much. Uh, but for those of you who do enjoy off-roading in GTA or you just like exploring the countryside, I definitely think this will be a great DLC. There's loads of cool things that we're going to go through. Um, but it says this DLC will add new features, obviously, uh, new clothing items, new emotes, a new racing type, new up uh, upgrade styles, New vehicles, a new radio station, a new Benny style garage and customization, which we'll get into all of that. Uh, so the introduction, when you load into game, there'll be a short cinematic video like when you loaded into the new Diamond Casino update for the first time. That will show you the brand new garage and the new vehicle customization and also the new race type. Um, so those of you who know about that, um, when you're loaded into the Diamond Casino update for the very first time, there's like a little cinematic thing showing you all of the features like the lucky wheel and obviously all the gambling and all of that good stuff. It'll basically be like that. It's basically like a little trailer when you load in the game saying, hey, here's the new content, go and explore it. So I uh, just put a picture here of one of the new vehicles. This is the Patriot Classic. It's the H1 Hummer in real life. And I did modify it slightly. This is also a Vanilla Works extended mod pack. So shout out to them. Um, it's a really cool vehicle. Definitely a vehicle we need to see in GTA Online. But anyway, the new garage. There's a brand new garage open in Los Santos right by the casino. Where you'll be able to take existing SUVs and off-road vehicles and upgrade them like you can with Benny's. Uh, there'll be loads of new customizable features for these vehicles, turning them all into lifted off-road variants. You'll be able to upgrade the existing vehicles and new drip feed vehicles with roof fog lights, winches, a new exclusive off-road tyre range, anti-roll bars, truck bed add-ons, spare wheels and loads more, including Benny's style interior customization. So... Um, I think it was back in the Arena War DLC, we actually got some new like tyres for the cars. Um, so the off-road tyres actually changed and they looked a lot cooler. And uh, basically what this um, is saying here, the exclusive off-road tyre range, basically you'd be able to take any of the existing wheels in GTA 
but fit an off-road tyre to them. So you could basically have the tuner wheels, but with an off-road tyre on them, which is personally something that I would really like to see. Um, there's a bit of a lack of uh, tyres and wheels in GT Online, so that would definitely improve it. And obviously here, this is the brand new garage. Uh, this is up near La Mesa, I think. Um, it's just down from the casino. And um, it's just basically a garage that's plonked in the city, and I thought it would be a good sort of upgrade location. Um, I was planning on having it in Sandy Shores, but a lot of the garages in Sandy Shores already have missions sort of attached to them. So like biker, um, uh, there's like biker missions or import-export missions that happen at those garages, so... That wouldn't really be possible, but this garage here doesn't have anything attached to it. There's no missions or anything, so it's in a pretty good place as well, and I thought it would be quite good for this sort of off-roading thing. And obviously, it might not look like this. Uh, Rockstar might decide to change it up, and, um, you know, like they did with the casino, they revamped it. They might do something like that and uh, make it a bit more, like, off-roady looking, but I just thought I'd just choose that one, and uh, it's just a picture at the end of the day. Um, some vehicles will also have the ability to be equipped with tank tracks, improving their off-road capability extensively while reducing their top speed on the road. So tanks aren't very fast, so if you put the tank tracks on it, it will be a lot better off-road. But on the road, it would be a little bit slower, which is kind of a good trade-off in my opinion. Um, we haven't got many tracked vehicles in the game, so it would be quite cool to see some more. Maybe some non-weaponized. All the vehicles in this uh, DLC are not weaponized. This is just a fun DLC that you can enjoy. Um, and then, obviously, if you have um, a wheeled vehicle, then... It would be a lot better top speed. It wouldn't be up there with supercars, obviously, but it would be a lot better on the road, but off-road it would be slightly worse than the tracked vehicles. Uh, but then it says all the vehicles in the new update, I should have put in, uh, will be fitted with a working winch that can be attached to a tree or another player's vehicle to help one another out of a sticky situation. This can also be upgraded to become more powerful and have a longer range. And that's something that really annoyed me in GTA. Um, all these off-road vehicles actually have winches on the front of them, but none of them are actually usable, which is kind of a missed opportunity in my opinion. It would be nice to see that sort of gameplay in GTA, and it's not really a hard thing to add. If you've seen any of my SnowRunner videos or you've played it for yourself, um, they have a winch in that game and it works really well. You can basically attach the winch to different points on the vehicle and then you can attach it to a tree or a stump in the ground or anything that's within range and you can basically pull yourself out and you can attach it to other people's vehicles. So if you're going off-roading with some friends, you can maybe help each other out. And it just adds something new to the game that we've not really seen before. Uh, obviously, the existing vehicles that had winches might not be able to have working winches. But if we got some new ones in the game, then I would definitely like to see that as a feature. Uh, but then we go on to the new race type, which is Rally Raid Races. And it says, along with the new garage, there will also be a bunch of new awesome rally raid races, which will test your off-road uh, driver skill and your vehicle's performance. Similar to rally raid races on the Crew 2, uh, you'll have to make your way through a series of challenging off-road checkpoints. But how you get to each one is up to you. You have to make your own path up steep inclines through deep rivers and over difficult rocky terrain. You have to be very careful not to damage your vehicle too much, but it is still a race, so you need to be quick. All these races will take place in no collision to avoid unwanted contact by other players, which is definitely something that annoys me in races. I, I like the realism of having contact races, but in GTA, um, a lot of the time, someone will just pit maneuver you and your race is completely buggered. So to make it a little bit better... Um, all of the races would automatically be in 
no collision because when you're doing something like this you might be doing a very skillful maneuver and then someone comes right up behind and just rams you off and it doesn't really make it very fun it, it makes it kind of annoying um, but basically the idea of this is like the crew 2 rally raid races if you've seen any of those uh, basically um, there's like checkpoints obviously to complete but how you get to each checkpoint is up to you so one path might be a little bit more difficult than another path uh, you might have to go over some rocks in one you might have to go through a deep river in another one and it's completely up to you but we can kind of get these races in GTA if you made some for yourself, but it would be nice to see those added by Rockstar. Some of the Rockstar created races are actually really good. And this here is just a picture of one of the possible checkpoints, what it could look like. I just threw this together very quickly, but basically this is on top of a mountain. So however you got up this mountain is completely up to you. You could come up this side, you could come up the front here, you could come over the back and down along here. And then obviously you'd go on to the next checkpoint. But then we go on to the new radio station which is called Dixie Radio. And I've got a picture of the logo, what it could look like. I'm not saying this is what it will look like, but um, this is what it could look like. And the idea of Mudbox and Beer DLC came from listening to many country songs. All singing about lifted trucks and having a good time off-roading. And we currently only have one country radio station, which is Rebel Radio, in GTA Online. Uh, but many of the songs are very old and some are not that great. So it would be nice to hear some more modern country songs, uh, which you can listen to while you're trying not to fall off that high cliff you're driving over. And uh, it's very true, we only have one country radio station in GTA Online. Um, a lot of the other genres, like the pop style radios, I think there's uh, three or four pop radios, there's three or four sort of rap radios, um, there's a bunch of chat shows on there as well, but we only have one country radio, which is kind of a shame, because uh, I do actually like some of the songs that are on there, some of them are a bit old for my tastes, um, so it would be nice to hear some more modern country, but after a while you get sick of hearing the same song over and over again. So it would be nice to hear a new country radio station, and if they were going to add it at some point, then this would be a good DLC to add it in. And then we get on to my favourite part of any DLC, which is the brand new vehicles. So there'll be a bunch of new vehicles in this update. Uh, and also some existing ones which will become custom variants when you upgrade them at the new garage. So the new vehicles that will be added. So these are not the upgradable ones. These are new vehicles that will get added. We have Ken Block's Raptor Tracks. Uh, and I've put Slash the Fast and Furious 8 Ice Ram because they're very similar vehicles. They're both basically um, pickups that have been uh, converted into tracked versions. Uh, but they're actually quad tracked, so um, each wheel has been replaced by a track. And they're both quite uh, famous ish cars. Uh, the Fast and Furious Ice Ram, um, that's quite a well known vehicle, I would say, in Fast and Furious 8. And Kemlock's Raptor Tracks, I threw that in there as well because that's a really cool vehicle and it's kind of similar to the Ice Ram. So I thought um, Rockstar like to sort of mix and match vehicles, so they probably throw those two together. And then we have the 2020 Land Rover Defender. Personally, I'm not a big fan of this vehicle, um, but we know Rockstar like to look at sort of uh, current events in real life and uh, add those into the game. And obviously it is an off-road vehicle, it's an off-road SUV. It's a brand new off-road SUV, so if they were going to add this vehicle at some point, then this would be the DLC to add it in. Um, then we have the H1 Hummer, which I showed you earlier. That was the Patriot Classic. We have the Mercedes-Benz X-Class, the pickup truck. Really cool vehicle. Um, I like that in real life, and I could see Rockstar adding that in GTA. We have the Mini X-Raid. That's the Dakar Rally Mini Cooper. Um, that's a really cool vehicle. We have the Ford Bronco, which I've actually got a picture of that just down at the bottom. Uh, the Vanilla Works Extended Mod Pack actually did a 
Bronco, they do two different ones. There is um, an SUV version, which is basically a hard top, and there is an off-road variant, which is basically the same, but it has a removed roof and roll bars on it. Um, but I've got a picture of that I'll show you at the end. That's a really cool vehicle. The Series 1 Land Rover Defender, basically the Mark 1 Land Rover, um, quite a famous car. It's very off-roady and uh, would fit well with this DLC. The Mark 1 Range Rover, oh sorry, the Series 1 Range Rover, that is another cool vehicle. Um, the Baller Classic, I guess they'd call that. Uh, we have the Lancia 037 Rally Car. So it's an off-roading DLC. I figured that's a rally car. It would kind of fit in this DLC. We have the Hot Rod Ford Ranchero, which is from the Roadkill TV series. We've got the Renault 5 Turbo, which is also another rally car. And then we go on to the upgradable vehicles. So we have the Fathom FQ2, which is um, this one right here, the blue one. Um, that is what it would look like once you'd upgraded it. And obviously there'd be a bunch of tuning parts so you could make it look really unique. You could have like plastic bumpers and a spare wheel on the roof and fog lights and stuff. But uh, that's what it could look like. Uh, then we have the Karen BJ XL, which is the green one just right here. And that's quite an off-road-esque vehicle already. And there's a lot of um, off-roady parts you can put on that. But it would be nice to see a lifted version of that. And then the last one we have is the De Classe Rancher, which I've got a picture of that right here. And the Rancher at the moment is a 4x4, and it has like a pickup bed on the, um, it has like a bed cover. Um, so when you upgrade it, it would convert into the six wheel version here, and then it would become a pickup as well. So you could have the option to have a bed cap on if you wanted. Um, this is actually a Vanilla Works extended mod pack vehicle. And you can actually put the bed cover on the back right here. But personally, I like the truck look a lot more. And we've got the fog lights up there. Obviously, you'd be able to customize this way more. Um, that mod doesn't have much customization, but it's a cool vehicle. So thought I'd throw it on this list. Then we'd have some new clothes. Uh, there'd be a bunch of new clothes all related to the idea of off-roading and country style. So I couldn't really think of many things to put on here, honestly. Um, but we've got wellies, we've got a poncho raincoat, uh, we've got a fishing vest, and we've got waders. Uh, then there'd be some new emotes, uh, so I couldn't think of many emotes either, um, but there'd be a few new emotes for the role players out there. It, there is the work the winch, basically a character pulls out a winch under their arm and um, it basically like when you point in GTA, um, you'd start that action and then you just walk around and it'd be like they're pulling the winch under their arm. And then we have fall in the mud. Obviously that's self-explanatory. The character would just fall over on the ground. And then we have toast a drink where basically they would, um, well, they toast a drink basically. And that is the lot. This is a picture here of the Vapid Coyote. This is supposed to be the Ford Bronco. And this is actually the off-road version. You can see it has the removed roof with the roll bar there. And it has the CB radio antenna. It's a really cool vehicle. This one is also by the Vanilla Works Extended Mod Pack. Really cool vehicle. I'd love to see that in GTA. And I always think if modders can do this kind of thing, then surely Rockstar could do it as well. Um, but that concludes the mud box and beer DLC concept. I know it wasn't as extensive as some other DLC concepts, but as someone who enjoys off-roading in real life and in GT Online, I feel it would be well received. So hopefully one day we might get something like this in GT Online. And that is the entire DLC. It's not massive. Um, there isn't a whole lot you could actually do with the off-roading, admittedly. Um, but there's a load of off-road vehicles that would suit perfectly in GTA Online. And uh, if we got some lifted variants of existing vehicles, then that would be also really cool. Um, but that is the entire DLC. It's called Mud Bogs and Beer. Uh, this is the fan art. Obviously, you've seen that on the thumbnail image as well. 
Um, I will leave a link in the description below to this amino page if you want to go and check it out for yourself and uh, share it with your friends if you think they'll enjoy it as well. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed taking a look at this DLC concept with me. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this DLC. Is this something you'd like to see in GTA Online? Do you think it's something that we might get in the future? Let me know down there. Also, if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video. That is going to do it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.